Matthew 6, verse 25 to 32. Therefore, I tell you, do not be anxious about the grocery bill. Listen, that scripture was written for people of those times. Now we have to practically understand how it is for this time. Anxiety is the weapon of the enemy. It says, don't be anxious about what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Don't be anxious about it. Don't be anxious. Why? Because it is already taken care of. Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns. And yet your heavenly father feeds them. Are you not of more value? In other words, God is saying, if I take care of the birds, are you not more valued that I will take care of you? And he says, of which of you, verse 27, being anxious can add a single hour to his span of life? And why are you anxious of clothing, you people? Come on. Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is alive, tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O oh, you, off? What is God saying? Even Solomon, in all his glory, was not as well dressed as these lilies. Okay. So what is your standard of dressing? See, you're so theologically caught up. You're just, I want to be a humble child of Jesus. I'm going to wear all torn clothes so we can say that he's a humble pastor. People think humility is in what you wear. If I wear this one white shirt, don't tuck it in, don't iron the clothes, come in and say, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Immediately, you say, oh, we have a humble pastor. We have a humble man of God. The standard of clothing in the Bible is God is saying, I'm, I'm going to dress you better than the lilies. And the lilies were better dressed than Solomon in all his glory. That means we have to be dressed better than King Solomon. Come on! That's the standard. Don't you dress like a ragged beggar. It doesn't bring any glory to the Jesus that you serve. Yeah. Nobody is going to stop you on the middle of the road and, and say, listen, can I accept the Jesus that you serve who is having torn shoes on? No, 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 no. I got to represent the King of Kings, all right? Yeah. Wrong theologies have crept in. Do you know why? Because there's only one person that gets joy of seeing you wear ragged clothes. That's the enemy. And you know, when the devil comes, he is not going to uh, quote Bhagavad Gita to you. He is not going to quote Quran to you. He is going to quote the scriptures to give you false understanding of financial blessing. The enemy wants to keep you poor. The enemy wants you to suffer. We are supposed to reign. Thy kingdom come as it is in heaven. So be it on earth. This earth is supposed to be your heaven. You're supposed to enjoy heaven on earth in this life time. Every time you watch one of our videos, be ready to receive something new and fresh from heaven. And don't forget to subscribe so you'll always have access to our latest content. God bless you and thank you for watching.